Hello, welcome everybody to Overlord Brainstorm. Hope you all are doing wonderfully great. Avatar is finally going to get its probable release in 2023. Still, with the increased hype, we do not have a legit announcement date of the game. Hope it gets released soon within this year. Now, talking more about the technology utilized in developing and experiencing this game, Ubisoft has confirmed major changes to its Snowdrop engine. Among the most noticeable changes of the engine, at first we have the artificial intelligence. With the enhanced AI, it is now capable of producing photorealistic graphics with ray traced, global illumination and shadows. Shading is also a part of this improved engine, which includes better and much faster graphical processing than before. This process requires a significant amount of computation and data movement before the final image is copied into the image object and the graphic device's texture memory. All of these utilizes the maximum performance capability of the GPU and puts considerably less pressure on CPU. Indeed, an amazing improvement of the Snowdrop engine. Now, the micro detail system of the engine further enables the game to portray thousands of assets in one frame which typically uses more of the CPU power. However, the improved engine has enhanced its way of utilizing the GPU power to ensure maximum performance. Another most significant feature of the AI which I have noticed is the dynamic action of the NPCs in the game. As the developers has also stated that the NPCs will be more intelligent than ever before in a game and their actions will change according to the time of the day. The last most important feature of this to be marvelous game is that like all other RPGs it will have interactions and choices along with traveling long distances of the open world. Now one unique traveling feature will be by flying and so the upper horizons has also been graphically enhanced. By graphical enhancements I mean the volumetric clouds. This volumetric cloud is the only thing which I feel to cause more CPU usage. Dynamic volumetric clouds include the process of generating cloud images in real time in three stages of simulation, illumination and rendering. The simulation and illumination is performed on CPU and the rendering is primarily completed on the GPU. I prefer not to go more in details of explaining these processes. However, we can expect this only thing to utilize maximum CPU and maybe we need to lower the quality of volumetric clouds to gain better performance. Overall, this game is truly to be an awesome adventurous RPG game with intense action and storyline. I'm waiting to buy this on the first day of its release. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe and share to experience more such new interesting gaming videos.